Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's talk about shape and pressure preservation with Axiom. We've all been there. We've been testing simulations at a lower resolution or a mid resolution, and then they approve it. You go to your high res and the simulation is completely different. Yeah, it happens a lot. So usually the recommendation is just sim at the high res all the time, but then it's difficult to do iterations and then you have to wait. And we all know how difficult and annoying that is. So I've made three simulations here. One of them took 40 seconds. One of them took three minutes and one of them took 15 minutes. One of them has more than half a billion voxels. One of them has, I think, around 100 million. And the third one has around 70 million active, active voxels. So the resolution change and the time of simulation is quite drastic. The half a billion voxel one basically completely took all of my VRAM on my GPU. So that's why it took a bit longer, but you can see it's hard to tell, right? Like which one would you pick? The main point of this experiment was to see how well Axiom would preserve the shapes and it's pretty it's doing a pretty good job, I think. It it you know, either one of these could pass as the final sim in my in my opinion. So I'll stop them here. So you can see the silhouette is preserved quite well between all of them. And that is something that's the most important aspect. Now this is the half a billion voxel one. This is the low res one. And this is the mid res one. But they all look quite good. You can see the top is quite similar and all the shapes, especially this part, they all have similar dimples. <laughs> and that's mainly what you're looking for when you're changing between different resolutions. So let's go in Houdini here and let me just show you this again. So this is the low res version, has around 77 million active voxels. Houdini is going to tell you we have around 20 million voxels here. This is the mid res version. Oop. Around 70 million here and 200. Oh yeah, so this one has around 200 million here. And then the super high res one around, you know, more than half a billion voxels. And this, yeah, this maxed out my, my GPU. If we go closer, you can kind of see, start seeing a difference, not really between the two of these because they're all quite high. Even this one. So the trick I was doing here was I was sharpening a bit. That's how it looks like when it comes out of the sim. And that's how it looks like when you sharpen it just a bit. So I am adding it a bit of of fake resolution with this one. The setup is quite simple. I will not show you the whole setup. Uh, these are the emitters that I will cover in an up and coming workshop. They have a lot of fields and around 11 million voxels, but that was a bit too much. So I resampled it to a million and that was fine. And then I have just another extra emitter for the middle. These are the three emitters that were shown in the cathedral tutorial. So nothing else has changed. The only difference here that I'm doing, like I said, was changing the division size. So here it was around 1 point, uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.1 and 0 0.07. So that's how Axiom will try to preserve shapes. Now, this will not work in every single example or in every single case. So I will show you a few examples where Axiom will do a great job at it and a few examples where it's going to do an OK job at it, just so you know what to expect. This feature became available in the Axiom two days and it will try to maintain the strength of pressure between resolutions, as you can see here. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be quite similar like I said, it's going to give you similar types of main shapes and dimples. Um, yeah, 
let's uh, continue with the other example. All right, so we have a simple pyroburst source here. It looks like this. And let's simulate the burst explosion. Bam. Beautiful. This is the low res one. I will go to the mid res one. So it's simulating. I'm going to let it sim till frame 34. Looks like this. And then I will not sim the high res one, but I do have it cached here. Actually, I have all of them cached. So just so you saw that there are live simulations and nothing is, uh, there's no trickery here. <laughs> so low res, mid res, high res. So you can see they kind of share, if I do a transformation here, there you go. So we have all of them here. You can see the high res one will have a bit more pressure and it's going to be ballooning up a bit more. Hey, it's me. Sorry for interrupting, but it would mean a lot to us just now if you would leave a comment or like the video. Just helps with the algorithm. You can type anything. You can type Axiom, what's your name, what city you're from. It will help people find this workshop. And if you're truly getting value from this video, consider subscribing. But the, the shapes are going to be quite consistent between all three, especially the low res and mid res. There is, there is, like I said, some of the dimples are going to change a bit because like it's hard to expect a simulation to stay consistent between the resolutions. But this is doing a pretty good darn job staying as consistent as it can. So I have a quick example here. If your resolution, let's say you have your turbulence here, right? And when you're changing your resolution on your voxels, this is how it looks like. So low res sim will have the same values here, but they're going to be, you know, you're only going to have a few boxes. And then you go to mid res. Sure, you will have similar values, but way more, way more in between values. So those in between values are going to change, you know, how the temperature behaves, how density behaves and all of the forces and how the velocity behaves. And then you go super high res and then you start seeing all the in between and then you go really high res and then you you see how that changed between you know if you're if you're like in a mid res simulation or super high res the values are going to be just slightly more visible and crisp and that will essentially change the way the simulation is behaving uh, but like you saw axiom will try to do the shape preservation and the pressure preservation and do a pretty good job at it Okay, here's another cool example with this one minute simulation, the famous one minute explosion. So let's go to frame 58 and see how that looks like. So like here and let's go to the low res one and you can see the shapes still kind of stayed consistent, at least the main shape uh, with the silhouette here. So let's go to this side. Now I do have to stress that you will need this a lot of this will be dependent on your emitter so this emitter will drive and guide our explosion quite well you saw with the pyro burst there was no guidance like this but it still preserved the shapes but if you guide it like i'm doing in this example it's going to give you much more consistent results you can see the the trails don't really change at all except we get more resolution here and usually when you're going high res, like I said, there's going to be more data in the sim. So maybe uh, some, let's say you might get a bit more pressure like we are having in this case. So, but overall, it's going to try to stay consistent as much as it can, as you can see in this example. And this simulation, so the high res one took one minute to simulate 70 frames. And the low res one, I think, takes half a minute to go to 70, if I remember correct. And even the low res one, imagine you're doing a lot of them and they're not this close up uh, like we are right now. You could simulate a lot of <laughs> a lot of them very fast uh, without a lot of waiting time, which is the main thing I hate waiting for simulations, just the worst. 
So yeah, this one is around half a minute for D. It's still, uh, the simulation is done, it, but it's still caching uh, to disk. But yeah, around half a minute to simulate uh, the the mid res, I mean the low res one. I mean, this one, I guess, could be 40, 3 million. But yeah, look, if you go from like here and like here, it doesn't really matter that much, right? If you, if you just sim the low res one. Let's go to one more example. Okay, so I wanted to show you an example where Axiom will just do an okay job of preserving the shapes and it's not gonna be perfect, but it's still gonna get you in the ballpark. So we have the low res sim here and a higher res sim here. First of all, they kind of look the same, but they do. there is a difference in voxel count uh, and I, I can do a higher res one as well so you guys can see. So the low res one, at least in terms of silhouette at the bottom, it's very similar. It does preserve those shapes. At the top, it's a bit different. So let's just for presentation's sake, do another one, go even lower. Let's go 08 and see what will happen. We simulate this one. I think that's gonna be enough. Yep, that's fine. Okay, what did we sim? So this. Low res, mid res, high res. So you can see the high res one will want to lift a bit higher in this case. It's going to be a bit different. The thing is, with this example, it's so difficult because we are blasting all of the pressure and everything in this container. So the simulation will try its best to contain, to preserve the shapes, but it's, I mean, you're asking a lot here <laughs> out of uh, Axiom, but it, as you saw, it's still gonna try and do its best in this case as well. So let's go to the Canon example. This is the low res Canon. And then we have the mid res Canon. Right? And you can see it, the, be, the behavior and everything is very similar. So I already cached them. Low res, mid res. And you can see, I was actually surprised in this case because I was expecting this to change more drastically. And then we have the high res. And you can see the silhouette does not change. The only thing that is changing is the amount of details that we're getting. So I think I simmed. Let's see at a later frames how it looks. So yeah, the later frames do, oops, I did something right. Low res, mid res, high res. So especially between the low res and mid res, you can still see the silhouette be very similar, but then the high res is changing it a bit. But the essence of the simulation is kind of preserved, especially in the beginning. You can see it looks very similar. And let's do the same thing we did before. So I just wanted to show you examples where you're not going to get perfect one-to-one -one shape preservation, but it's going to try its best. Axiom, it's going to do a good job even in this example. All right, so that's all about shape preservation. Uh, all the HIP files are gonna be available for you to download and try them for yourself.